Thank you everyone and welcome to Roy Drive. I am a driving instructor who can answer just about any questions you might have on the subject of driving or driving anxiety. If you are a subscriber, I want to thank you. And if you have not yet subscribed, please go ahead and sign up. And uh, don't forget to click the bell and give a thumbs up on the videos. Let me know if I'm answering your questions according to your needs. In this particular video, I'm going to be answering a couple of questions on uh, driving anxiety and also on highway. Now, this first response will be to this person who's asking about um, anxious, anxiousness while driving. He says, I am going to be 21 soon and never had my driver's license. I passed the written road test during high school very easily, but never used my permit because of laziness, fear of driving. My permit obviously expired and I retook the written test again and passed it, but I still can't get behind the idea of driving. Just the thought of practicing gets me worried. I am worried to practice because my town is very small and most of my friends think I have my license and I would feel very ashamed if they see me driving poorly because I am learning so late. My parent has zero interest in teaching me because they themselves aren't confident in their driving skills. I really need my license soon and I have a permit so I can essentially schedule a test whenever I want. I really need some help. Your current feelings originate from your parents' reluctance and you have delayed your desire for a license with thoughts about your friends. Please think about you, your life, your freedom, and what you want, the driver's license. Driving will always involve some degree of risk, but it is manageable. Rid yourself of some stress and let them know you are about to get a driver's license. I suspect they are already aware of that fact. Next, get a driving instructor who can soothe the worries you expressed above. You are more likely to hurt yourself rather than someone else because you have expressed an awareness of responsible behavior. Be aware that the longer you wait to do this, the greater the doubts will grow, which increases the amount of time you need to practice. There's nothing wrong with your feelings. You're just a bit anxious from the novelty of your family and background. From the novelty and your family background. Remember, you are your own person. You are different and you need greater independence of your mind and the small town. So I hope that was helpful. And with that, I'm going to move to the next question. And this next viewer says, I live in a big city with high traffic area where a car is pretty much a necessity. Although I have my license and a clean driving record, I hate to do so. Nothing gives me more anxiety than how poorly everyone drives in congested times, which is pretty much all of the time. I've never even driven on the freeway alone. Absolutely terrifying feeling I risk my life every Absolutely terrifying feeling I risk my life every day even if only as a passenger. Now, let's see how I can address your question. We're all our worst enemies. People get on the highway and say it is too crowded. We assume the other driver is the bad one all while we are also involved in the same acts. You said everyone drives that way, therefore hints, hints at normalcy. Thus, your life is not at a higher risk than anyone else on the road. What matters here is how you subjectively feel a point of perspective. Think of yourself as being one of the cars in the center of a train. Whatever happens to the car in front or behind will affect you as well. And so it is from their locations. See what I mean? You are and will be just fine. Just try to see the big picture. Again, thank you for your time. Don't forget to subscribe, click that bell, and give a thumbs up on the videos. And let us know how we are doing in answering your questions. Thank you, thank you. A thousand thanks to you